Greetings and thank you for joining me today. It's Eddie Set Go. Uh, if you are new to the channel, then please make sure to subscribe to see future motorcycle content. So today's video is a review of the Alpenstar's Corazol motorcycle glove. So the Corazol glove from Alpenstars, who are these gloves aimed at? I think these are pretty much aimed at your sports touring riders, uh, casual riders commuting. Um, I think that if you're a courier, I think this would be a great option for you if you're working in a, a busy city, uh, getting on and off the bike and, and having to take them off and on to, to go into places. I think these would be a great option for you because they're, they're lightweight, they're practical, they've also got a very short cuff, so uh, you're not having to wrestle with a gauntlet and stuff it over your jacket or under your jacket. So these are quite a practical city glove for the city rider, I think, uh, no doubt. And you've also got the Alpenstars Dry Star membrane running through all of this so there's all manner of um, waterproof protection rainproof protection and windproof protection uh, a very technical glove but that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg with the uh, with the Corazol we'll have a look in a bit more detail now and see what they're all about So what do you get for your £75, your $100? Um, I think you get quite a, a technical glove. Um, for such a small package, it does pack a lot of features in it. Um, so I do believe you get value for money when it comes to the, the Corazos. I'll just put them on, put one on now. I'm gonna have a quick look. Um, the glove itself is made of combination of goatskin leather and poly fabric. I think Alpenstars call it a polyamide fabric, um, and it's your usual motorcycle kind of textile finish on the on the face of the glove, on the on the, the bit that faces up. Um, on the back of the hand, you're looking at a textile finish, um, very rough, coarse. Um, and then across the knuckles, we've got a kind of a plastic um, protection here, with, which is coated in um, faux leather, you know, synthetic leather. And then over across the knuckles, we've got extra layer of padding. And then very reassuringly, as you can see, on the third finger to the pinky finger, you've got that kind of extra wrap that Alpenstars do. I'm not sure if other uh, glove manufacturers do it. They, I think Alpenstars actually say it's a painted technology. So um, it is very reassuring to see that there is an extra layer of protection coming from across middle finger to the pinky and comes all the way around to this, this side here. Um, obviously in the event of a low side, if you're sliding along the ground, then this could very well, this added layer of protection could very well save your pinky. Coming down the back of the hand here, on the edge of the hand, there's an extra layer of padding here as well. So really, they put a lot of thought into what would happen if this if glove is gonna go along the ground, along the tarmac, along the gravel. So um, great layer of protection on this side of, of the glove here, the bit that might hit the ground first. Um, <clears throat> And then coming onto the palm of the hand, there's a whole load of things going on here. We've got obviously goatskin leather, as I've mentioned, on the palm of the hand. Um, we've got extra layer of padding here on the balls of the hand. Again, the things that are gonna hit the ground first. Um, great layer of protection coming around here from extra padding. And then on the inside, I don't know if you can see on the video here, on the inside, there is a kind of a, a layer of very, not sticky, but very coarse uh, synthetic, fa synthetic fabric. And that, that goes all the way into the thumb area, which is great for gripping the handlebars, which is great for gripping the grip. So you do actually get even more kind of grip, um, which is very reassuring and very, you know, it gives you a very sure footing um, when you're holding onto the bars. So yeah, really, really nicely done palm there from, from Alpenstars. And then coming around, if you can see the back of the thumb there, there's also an extra layer of padding there against the knuckle of the thumb. Again, if that comes down, if you end up on the floor, then it's another layer of padding there. So all the padding in the right places from this glove. Excuse me. And then coming to the wrist, you've got your Velcro, your Velcro adjuster here, your kind of place to uh, secure the glove to your wrist. You've got an extra layer of, um, a layer of um, stretch fabric here. So you can really kind of tune it to your, the size of your wrist, pull it round and it's really nice and secure and a really nice feeling glove there. Um, so yeah, lots of technology in this glove, not to mention the, the, the dry star membrane that's in there. So that's fully waterproof, breathable, 
So in terms of how the glove feels, um, the corals, I actually found it quite a, a snug fit to wear. Um, inside you've got all this dry star membrane and windproof protecting uh, membranes and it's, it does create quite a snug fit of a glove. So when you first get them, um, they can be quite stiff. And after, after a first few rides, your hands do tend to fatigue a bit and you kind of have to loosen your grip off a bit. Um, but again, these will loosen up over time. They do feel very quality. You do feel like your fingers are wrapped in a lot of um, gear, you know, you've got your, your leather, you've got your poly texture finish at the top, you've got all this gear inside their fingers, so it is quite a very uh, quality of finish of, of a glove, just quite stiff when you first get them. Um, I'm wearing a medium, I usually do wear a medium on my gloves, so I do find it true to size. Um, so yeah, um, in terms of the, the, the feel when you're putting your, your hand in them the first time, very snug, quite tight, um, but they do loosen up over time. Now it's quite a warm day today here in the middle of May here in the UK and I'm sitting here with this glove on and my hand is already getting quite hot. Um, so perhaps going for a ride in the summer months with these on might not be you know, the right option for you. Um, Alpenstars doesn't really kind of market these as a, you know, a particular season type of glove but I would I think these will be absolutely fine doing you know your, your spring months your autumn months coming into a bit of the winter um, certainly here in the UK I think these would be great for short commuting gloves all year round I don't think you have a problem with that at all um, perhaps if you're in much more colder climates Canada the US I think maybe you might want something a bit more of it with a gauntlet perhaps um, but I think these are great gloves you could probably get away with riding in the summer months for very short trips but I think anything longer than 20 minutes half an hour you're going to start to feel feel the heat on on the glove again because it's so packed full of dry star technology windproofing technology so there you have it the corazol motorcycle glove from alpen stars a very technically packed short cuff glove suitable for most seasons uh, i'm not quite sure about the hot summer months you might get a bit of a warm hand hands over the longer rides but i think for everything else these offer a real range of practical benefits for for most riding situations so if you are looking for something that's short cuff these might be the gloves to uh, to check out they've been out for quite a while there's quite a few bargains to be had out there um, so yeah that concludes the video I do hope it's been of use to you if it has please give a thumbs up to support the channel you can also subscribe uh, to see future motorcycle content it's been Eddie Set Go uh, ride safe drive safe and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.